Hi guys, welcome to another session. Uh, this Salesforce Cheerful Solutions we are talking about. Some of you guys uh, who joined previous lesson would remember that uh, after playing some colors in Salesforce, like creating success bar or progress bar, and also uh, showing some colors in pick list value, like this one. We finished this part. Then last week, you would remember, we talked about some uh, security or you can say the visibility of the component. For example, here we did one example. Oh, sorry, it's an, an opportunity. We worked in opportunity object. So under opportunity object, we have a pick list value. And we say that there is a scenario where when I want to type something new for the pick list value, means is it is here. For example, the type type field here, I have the opportunity type here. It can be existing customer upgrade, existing customer replacement, existing customer downgrade, or, or new customer. So I say, what if I want to create something else, or I have new type of customer, or I have new type of uh, industry, for example. So then I want to pick other option. And when I pick other option, another box is coming, opening, and asking me what type you want to write in. and. That's where I write my type. So when I specify here something, and when I save it, this something is going automatically under type. And you cannot see again that box here. So how did we achieve it? By applying under edit page, visibility condition, visibility criteria for this field. This is a new feature in Salesforce. And earlier, we were not able to touch the page layout, uh, individual visibility. Only we could do is just uh, entire page layout. We can assign page layout one to a profile, another page layout to another profile. And this way we could uh, just could assign or could set visibility bulk uh, settings, I can say. But here, under details, I have a lot of fields here. And when I click one of them, for example, I'm talking about type or specified type here. This specified type, I can set visibility, which I did. And from there, I say that if the type record, this type field is equal to other, then show the other this field. So I use the other uh, condition for this field. I said, if the type is other, then show specified type. If not, we will not see this one. I hide this one. So we achieved it last week by using the criteria on this field. So same way, you can adjust settings, visibilities uh, for components as well. So any component, custom component or standard component, you can set visibility from here. And also inside the page layout, in details, for example, I can assign visibility settings for each field. For example, amount field. I can set a visibility that if close date is something, for example, show amount. If it's not, don't show amount, for example. So we can do this. That's OK. So what about today now? Today, again, very short and very effective uh, Salesforce shortcut, I can say, or very, very useful and effective for you. What if I want to show something to some users and I don't want to show to other users? Still, I'm talking about the components. So it can be this component or something else, uh, custom components. So let's come back from here. And let's pick one object, for example, homepage. Let it be on homepage anyway. So under homepage, let me see first. Okay, 
For example, this to-do list, this is a component, you would remember, this is a just custom LWC, you know, LWC. So I want to set visibility settings for this component. Let me come to page, edit page here. And let's see. Okay, this is my component. When I click on it, when I click this component, any of these actually, there is no difference. So I pick this one, this to-do list, when I add the uh, filter, I, you see here set component visibility. So I'm setting visibility uh, criteria for this component, add filter. So here, as you know, I can put a condition according to some field. I can say, for example, if account uh, name is blah, 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 something, show this. If account email is something, or if account address is this. So I can set anything I want. But now I'm talking about the user. I'm saying that this component will be visible to some users, and it will not be visible, or it will be hidden to other users. So can we make it? Of course. So this time I put one field, click on select here. And when we select here, I am searching for user. So user, if not, you have other here. So only permissions or users. This permission, you can remember just, it is like a profile. So you can use profile or user. So now I'm talking about user. So when I pick user, there is another filter coming. So what field of user you want to use to filter? What field we want to use as a filter? This field belongs to user. So what field we should use? For example, profile. So we have profile section under user. So profile field. Of course, this is a lookup, but anyway, and user profile name, let's say name. And you see that user profile has field name as, I mean, field label is name, field type is text and API name is name. That's okay, I say done. What I did is I said user profile name will be something. I can say contains, I can say equal, not equal or other operators. Now I can use here equal or not equal. Let's say equal first. And the value is any profile you created. For example, I said says, or oh, system admin, sorry. Uh, system administrator, right? System administrator, done. What I said is only system admins can see this this component, not other users, not other profiles. Obviously, I can set something else, any field of user, but now I pick profile. So according to this condition, uh, I expect only Salesforce admins to see this one. No other uh, profiles will see this, this one. So this is one thing. Uh, I can test it, but before I do tests, I need some uh, user, of course. Let me see if I have other users here. Let me see, I have this one. I still system administrator. Okay, if we have, because this is limited, I don't have too much license here. I have only one more user where I can use the login as this person, because I will check it, but it's also system admin. Instead of changing this, I will change the rule of this one. I can change the profile as well, but I, I want to change this one. What? Let me add one more filter here. This time I will select still user. And let's say user has username, right? Let me use username this time. And username is okay, done. Now the username of that user I say not equal to my username. 
my username so that I aim to hit from myself. I will hit from myself and the other user will see this component. So value, what is my username? Let me see from here. Where is my name? Okay, this is my username. Yes, so my username is here. I take this one, come back the, and put it here. So I say to see this component, the username of the user should not equal to this one. So except me, any other Salesforce, uh, sorry, system admins could see, can see this one. This is what I'm doing. And I said, okay, save and go out. Let's see. You see, there is no to-do list for me because this uh, user is restricted to see this component. So you, I can't see myself, I can't see this one because I hid from myself and I can't see this one. Now, let's see other, and because I'm using other browser so that I will not lose, both of them will be open. So I log in as this one, says Maya. Log in as says Maya. See, logged in as Maya. So I am Maya now here and I'm in homepage. See, to-do list is visible. So Maya can see to-do list because she is a system admin and her name, username is not my username. That's why she can see this component. But when I come to other page, this is myself. I can't see this component here because it is here. So with this, I can uh, hide from myself and I can show some users. Uh, the question may come here. Can I see again, because I can't see it, how can I handle or how can I change the visibility? Yes, of course, when you come back to edit page, you will see it again, because this is settings and uh, all settings is uh, visible to everyone and to system admins. That's why I can see it here. And I can change the visibility settings and filters. From there, I can open to myself if I want. See, to-do list is here. I have two filters. I can remove, I can add, I can change if I want. So with this, uh, we can change. For example, this time I'm saying that instead of not equal, I said contains, let me say, and I will just remove some part. I said, if username has uh, these letters, so E-R-C-A-N in the username, then this person will be able to see the component. Still, I'm talking about the same component, to-do list component. And I save it here. And I go out. This time, I expect to see as Erjan, I will see my component, but Maya will not see. Here, see, I am seeing to-do list here because my name has part as Erjan, but when I come to other user here as Maya, let me refresh after refreshing the page. Yes, Maya cannot see because her username doesn't have urgent. So with this, we can set a lot of uh, visibility. I mean, the settings criteria, if you want, you can, pick. but any part, any field of user you can use there or permissions. You know, permissions, we have a lot of permissions, by the way, let me show you from here. So here, uh, what I'm saying, uh, when I, Come to settings, let me from edit page again. Instead of user, what if I use the permissions? What I would see, let's show. It's coming. So this time, when I click here, so any component, by the way, 
So let's say second one this time. So create an account component I'm talking. I add one filter. So from there, I'm selecting uh, permission because let me show, there's two options here, uh, user or permission. So user, we know all fields of user is coming. So I can say only active users can see only uh, whose alias is something, contains something, or only city or state, I can say according to address. So who lives in Istanbul can see, who is in London cannot see, for example. I can change the according to their address. Email can be one uh, criteria if I want, or name, or language, or location, or blah, blah. So anything you can pick here, or you can make it according to language, for example. Uh, you could put a lot of version of the component. So those who speaks English can see on the English components, and those who is using French can see only French components, for example. So you can change the scenarios like this. So this is users. But now I'm talking about permission. So what are permissions? So permissions, we have standard permissions. Maybe I didn't do any uh, custom permissions here. I, I could put also custom permissions, but I don't have in this org. So let's see what standard permissions I have. A lot of a lot of permissions I have in the system. By default, I have a lot of access or permissions. So like access activities, conversion entries, as if you can think like edit access, create a uh, create access like creating, editing, deleting, or updating access. For example, same way you have different name of access here. So activating access, so allowing access or API enabled, API only user access. And we have another permission like convert leads permission. A lot of standard permissions are coming. So according to these permissions, you can also categorize or you can also give access to the users. So you can say that my uh, component is about deleting topics. So I can say only who can delete topics can see this component, for example. So with this, we can set the filters according to permissions or standard permissions as well. So this is how we can set the visibility settings for component, for this component, for custom component, or for standard components as well. Uh, you can produce different scenarios here. And I think, it is very, very useful uh, in wider companies, especially if you don't want to confuse any people, you can set personal uh, visibility. You remember page layout is more generics because page layout can be assigned to a profile and how many page layout can you produce? Maybe uh, 10, 12, let's say 100 page layout you produce. Assigning this page layout is one thing, and also your user, maybe thousands of users in the system and the setting each profile, each users one by one, it is not the issue. So you can make it according to criteria. Just say that who lives in this area can see this one or who is working for marketing profile, let them see this component or who is uh, more than six years in this company can see this component with this so on, you can produce different scenarios. So that's all for today. So we learned how to set visibility for components and for some special uh, fields as well. You can set the visibility through users, not profile, but also users. So, but user who has system admins profile, uh, it's obviously you can set visibility for profile as well with this. Thank you very much for listening. So see you next week at the same time for another Salesforce shortcut. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day, have a nice night or morning, evening, wherever you are. Thank you.